when I was trying to sneak Simba some crunchies and somehow Boo heard me. He heard me from the other side of the house. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 8.05 a.m. and you just missed it. So Boo was on the bed and I gave him a few pets. Then he jumped off the bed and he walked into the living room. And I followed him into the living room and he walked up to Stella who's laying here in the round bed and they kissed each other. They were like touching noses for quite a while and then Stella did not swat him. Stella just kind of stretched out and then he backed away and he moved over. So here's Stella and here's Boo. And they were so nice to each other this morning. See? They're becoming buddies again. Good girl, Stella. It's 8.30 a.m. And look. Look. Boo and Stella are laying on the bed together. This is good for them. A lot of times, if one's on the bed, the other won't jump up. Or if the other jumps up, the other... Or if one jumps up, the other jumps down. But look, they're hanging out together. Okay, guys, just relax. So it looks like we got some snow overnight. It's not really much snow. It's just like a dusting of snow. But you could see like all of the footprints of the birds. Like the birds have been having a really good time around this cat food. And here's Hijox. I don't know where he was this morning, but there's obviously no cat tracks on the snow. So he was somewhere else. Unless he figured out a way to get somewhere without leaving cat tracks on the snow. So I'm just about to give him some breakfast. He's looking at the bowl under the table. I haven't put his food out yet, but I will right now. Today for breakfast, the cats are getting their homemade raw food. And there's a very little tiny bit of the uh, turkey Sheba that I gave to Hydrox. I put that on top. And look at this. Simba does not want to eat it and Splash does not want to eat it. They hate canned food. So I'm going to put a few crunchies on the food and maybe Splash will come back and maybe Simba will start eating. It's 2.22 p.m. right now and I was trying to sneak Simba some crunchies and somehow Boo heard me. He heard me from the other side of the house. So... He came down, and now he's eating crunchies with Simba. I don't know where Stella and Splash are. Right now it's about 7.30 p.m. and I just got home, and Hydrox was meowing at me. So I gave him some food. He's having homemade raw food mixed in with a bunch of water, and what I did was I split it up. So I put half of it in this bowl on the patio. And I put the other half of it in the Thermo Kitty Cafe. Hydrox just walked over these back steps away from the food that I just put on the patio. So I don't know what's going on with him. He did not even smell it. He did not walk over to it. So I'm going to move it. I just went outside to take the garbage out. And when I came back, Hydrox was sitting by the back door meowing. So I took the food that I had put under the patio table for him and I showed it to him. And as I did that, he kind of ran off of the back step uh, toward the side here. And then I put it here on the patio and he went over and he ate it. He ate it really fast and he just walked away. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other half of this food and put it in this bowl also. Actually, I went outside and then I changed my mind because it is less than 30 degrees out. And if I put food in this bowl, it will freeze. So I'm better off just leaving the rest of the food in the heated kitty cafe. He knows there's food in that area. He could always go to the bowl and eat it and it's not going to freeze. Good morning, Stella. It is 7.52 a.m. right now. And Stella had a really good night's sleep. She slept on the bed all night. She slept on the end of the bed. And yeah, she was even snoring at one point. Stella's very happy when she spends a whole night laying on the bed. 
Right, Stella? She's still a little tired. And here's Splash. It looks like Splash has been sleeping in one of the round cat beds. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Boo. Boo's been sleeping in one of the cat towers. It snowed this morning, or last night. I think it snowed this morning. I heard snow plows not too long ago. And there's Simba. Good morning, Simba. Simba likes watching snow. And so does Boo. But Boo has decided he wants more sleep. It's about 8.30 p.m. right now. I just got home. The door's actually slightly open. Hydrox just showed up. He's right by the back door and Boo is smelling him. I still need to unload the car. We're supposed to be getting some snow overnight, so I wanted to get some errands done tonight. I picked up some cat supplies. And um, yeah, I got two boxes of cat litter and a big bag of crunchies. And it came out to about $74.00. But I had gift cards. I was at PetSmart and I had my PetSmart gift card. So thank you so much to everyone who sent the cat some PetSmart gift cards. I used about two of them tonight. Today for dinner, Hydrox is getting the same homemade raw food that the cats are getting. He had some water mixed in and a few drops of herbs. And what I do now is I give him half of his food in this bowl, which is not heated. And I put the other half of it in the heated bowl. So if he eats this, great, then he still has more in the heated bowl. If he doesn't eat this, then there's still some in the heated bowl that he can eat that won't be frozen. And right now he's just hanging out here by the house. He's in this little corner here. And um, I'm gonna leave the food here. I'm gonna go back inside and uh, hopefully Hydrax will eat some food or he'll go in the shelter and hang out. Again, we're supposed to get some snow tonight Then it's supposed to kind of warm up a little bit and become like rainy and sleet and it's just gonna be a horrible weekend like that all the way through Monday. So, um, Hydrax, eat some food and then go hang out in your shelter, okay? The one thing that I wish the shelter had was a really nice window so he could be inside the shelter and look out. It's the only thing the shelter does not have. The thing is though, like, to put a window in, like, you definitely um, sacrifice warmth because windows usually, you know, are not the warmest thing, especially, you know, a cat shelter window. So it's much warmer for him not to have a window but I'm sure it's much more pleasant for him to have a window. And the sunroom is right next to the shelter, so he could hang out in there if he wanted to, but I've never seen him do that. Okay, so he just walked over to the food, and it looks like he's eating it. If Hydrox eats this food, that will be so great because it means that when I make raw food, I don't have to make like separate batches. Like I don't have to make boneless raw food for Hydrox and then food with bones for the other cats. So that's why I wanted to do this experiment today. See if Hydrox would go for the same food that the other cats eat. And it looks like he's going for it. I mean, it looks like he's eating it pretty good. And if he does that, that'll be great. Although today, one of the errands I ran was to buy some boneless thigh meat for him. I mean, I guess I could always just put that in the freezer and use it for something else, but I don't really eat chicken and look that bowl's empty it's 8 46 p.m right now and i'm inside putting stuff away and i just happened to look outside and see that hydrox came back to the bowl he was eating out of and when he saw that it was empty he kind of walked over to look at where the other bowl normally is under the table and there wasn't a bowl there so then he walked over to the kitty cafe and right now he's eating out of the kitty cafe which is great because if he likes this raw food, it just makes my life so much easier that now I just have to make like the same raw food for everyone. That is so awesome. Um, well, at least for now. But yeah, but it's also really good for Hydrox that he's eating it. Now I have to give the inside cat some food for dinner. Where's he going? What's he doing? Eh, he looks pretty happy. 
Looks pretty satisfied. Is it gonna stretch? Smell in the bowl, seeing if there's anything else. That was a lot of food. I mean, I gave him three scoops of the homemade raw food and the inside cats get like not even a scoop and a half per meal. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.